Okay. Even in the breakups, I know how to say, I'm sorry it didn't work. One dude played me and I was like, give me some. You got me. You won't give me again. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm not going to deep, deep dive in that. Don't, don't, don't dive in that yeah. one. Okay. Fast forward. Back to being married. So I'm, I'm married. Um, we're trying to figure it out. Newly married. I'm still on the road. We don't even have kids yet. No kids. But in my mind, it was home. supposed to be a certain way. It was okay. supposed to be a certain thing. And it wasn't that. Yeah. Uh, thank God for mom and dad, Campbell. Thank God for people around me that was praying for me. Even two of his really, really good friends to this day, they was like, yo, man, he loves you. He just, yeah. he, he young. He don't know how to. Yeah. I was like, man, please, I could be gone six months. He'd be like, something different around here. He hates when I tell that story. He really yeah. does. Um, but it's true. I love you, babe, though. We good. 23 years. We're fine. <laughs> like, um, but yeah, you don't here. know. You don't know how to be married. It's so I'm real. so late with that. Do you get this? That's what like, I felt. Hey, something different something around different here. Around Somebody here. missing. That's what I felt. Like, no. if you could come home and go play a video game, you know you got a whole wife upstairs and she cute and you ain't gonna come say hi. But he wanted to play his video game. That was his normal. Come from home, yeah. come home from the studio. Yeah, you do. And getting married to... is merging your normals. What you yeah. would usually do, what he would usually do. Most times women have this big, we're gonna be this, and guys don't really have that. Right. So they go on living their life, right? Exactly. Y'all have to learn how yeah. to be a married couple together. What does that look like? Well, how does that feel? Yeah. I was used to a lot of family, so I was always having my family over. And yeah. I know he was sick of it. Yeah. And I'm super churchy. One day he came home and I decided to bless the house, but I didn't tell him. So he came in, it was church praying people <laughs> all over the place. Da, 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 ba, she, bless she, she, oil all over. Ya, da, 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 ba, sure he was like, <laughs> oh. I just want to play my video game. <laughs> oh, walk Warren. around in my drawers. Poor Warren. Yeah, so, so I had to learn, he had to learn. Yeah. Luckily for us, we stuck together because the last message that my dad told me, he said, the reason it was three times is because I, I kept trying to figure it out. Yeah. He said, I kept trying to make it work. Yeah. He said, I didn't. He was like, for some reason, me and your mom, our communication didn't work. He said, but I love her and she loved me. Mm -hmm. And I kept coming back because my family was what I wanted. Yeah. He was like, so I always want you to know that. He called me Plum. He was like, Plum, I always want you to know oh, that. Plum. Be good to your husband. He would tell me and Tina that. Be be good to your husband. It's going to be tough, but be good to your husband. He was always very clear that my mom was good to him and she honored him. Yeah. Whenever they were together, you could feel their sparks. You could feel their, yeah. into, you know, touching each other. They, they, did, they didn't mind public displays of affection. And everybody knew that about Tommy and Eddie. And even in the end of his life, when he had married somebody else at the funeral, it was still about Tommy and Eddie. Everybody that got up talked about you know, because Tommy and Eddie this and they prayed for us and they were a great example and they poured into our lives and they encouraged us. And so knowing the diversity of their life, but still that being the story, what I took from that is mm -hmm. you can go through tragedy and all those issues and still serve God and God will carry you through. God. Now I know we're in a newer day yeah. and time and people are like, I'm going to take a whole month off and I'm going to do that. And I'm, I'm adjusting to that mindset, yeah. but I was raised to to know and understand and truly believe and have been an example of God carrying you through most yeah. of my most traumatic times. I was either on tour or with a camera in my face, Jeez. having babies, learning camera. somebody going to fire me, you know, all kinds, just a camera in my face. I Smiling the whole time. Can't, can't give up that crying for real. No. Yep. Come on, did y'all just hear Eric Campbell just blow that little bit right there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I felt that in my shot now, no, child. <laughs> Um, I, I want to go to your voice, but I do want to stick right here. Mm -hmm. So you turned out well. Tina turned out well. Of course, there were some different things that were aired out that she chose to really tackle mm -hmm. head on. I thought that was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Were there any, like, in the family, did anybody else have some different effects of divorce three times? Because you were solid in the word of God. But, like, yes. do you see any of the residue For of that sure. decision with some of your other siblings? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. A lot of them like, yeah, marriage, I'm cool. Yeah. He can't make up his mind. We're trying to figure out. And I'm supposed to just sit here and just be a good wife and wait till he come back. Or yeah. I'm just supposed to pray and everything going to be fine. So it's kind of like, I'm not going to be like. But yeah, I'm not doing that. You're going to act right yeah. day one or you're yeah. done. You know what I mean? So real short. Real short. Real. Yeah, what yeah. Would you say? I let that rub off on me. That was. Really? That was me for a season. Okay. Oh, yeah. I called my business manager. I was like, no, how much money do I have by myself? Okay. I'll give him. <sighs> I'll give him the BMW back. He had just bought me a BMW for, for my 30th. So 30th, we'd only been married two, three years. I was like, yeah, I'll give him this back. Okay, he can, you can have this house. Okay, I can get a condo. I can move over here. Okay, we can still marry, marry. I can meet you at the studio. It's fine. You move, I move, we good. Yeah. I was like, let's go. I, and I would say, 
I cry really good for about a week, maybe two. And then that I'm is done. Eddie's daughter. I tell you that much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just never seen that. I mean, I knew it was in there because of where you, geographically where you from. When I lived in LA, <laughs> you know, I used to buy my weed in Inglewood. Just being oh. honest, and just knowing that you from there, I did. I never I, bought weed in Inglewood. I mean, it's good because you were in church. I was not in church. I was with DJ Quick <laughs> and the rest of the guys. I was the runner guy, so I was real good. And I was like, "You from Inglewood? What street? <laughs> Listen, Hundred Eleven Street." Yeah. But but no, I really I really wanted to to really hone in on that because now as we fast forward, it's like now it just seems like God is reconciled so much. You know, I even seen in one interview and not honing on different things that happened in your relationship, but there was a profound statement that came out of it. You were with Tamara Hall and you you talked a little bit about Warren's unfaithfulness. And it was some words that stuck out to me. And I said, that is the way that a woman is supposed to love a man. You said he he made a bad decision. Well, he wasn't a bad guy. He was a good guy who made a bad decision. Mm -hmm. And I was like, praise Jesus then. Yeah. yeah, I said he's not a mistake. He's, he made a mistake. He's not a mistake. Or, but yeah, it was he's not like, a mistake. He made a mistake. So, yeah. so for a woman of your stature, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you, you, you know, you married Mary. To me, you, your name was Mary. And you could pretty much have anything that you wanted at the time. You have mm -hmm. your money. You have your cars. You have your status. Mm -hmm. You probably can't go nowhere without some guy with brute on smell. Like, <laughs> hey, what's up, girl? You know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, what? Like, how did you mature into to that version? Now that I understand who Eddie is. Now that mm -hmm. I understand that you have a quick fuse of conversation and you can say what you want. How did you choose to take on that trajectory instead of just choosing to say? I'm, I'm me. I don't have mm -hmm. to do with none of that. Mm -hmm. I don't care if I ain't there for thirty days and thirty nights, fifty mm -hmm. years. You mm -hmm. never supposed to. Mm -hmm. How did you? How did you? How did you not go to the pride and and decide to live in the humility? What was that process? Because ego means e g o ease God out. Yeah. If I ease God out of this part, then welcome him into the next part. I'm off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I truly believe God. I I know and knew that. It, that God put us together. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if I believe that God put us together, then even when it gets rocky, God is the one that holds us together. Mm -hmm. If I lean into um, my hurt and my pain and let that override the purpose that I believe that is Warren and Erica and the Campbells and, and all that we do, I, I miss it because I become a little selfish and self-centered. It is very mm -hmm. easy to get into your ego for men and for women. Cause you'd be like, huh, that's what I am. Well, a marriage was never about me as an individual in the first place. Amen. So when you get to the difficult point, if you make it about you, you're always going to make something that serves you and not the marriage. Yeah. Um, and so it really was, it was all about trusting God. And I remember saying something to him that he honored and, and made big in our lives. And I said, if you can love me back to you, then we can do this. Come on, love me back. Love me back to you. And he said, what does that mean? I said, I don't know because I didn't tell you how to, Fall in love with me. You just did. Well, I didn't he, give you a what rule he, book What to he follow. do, child, to make you come on back? Tell me. Oh. Like, what was some of the things? Because this is a dude right now. Like, this is what I understood. And this is no disrespect to anything that, you know, my former person or anything. But it's like God now puts me in this position where there are so many men mm -hmm. who are on the brink of divorce yeah. or separation or breakup. And they call me almost like, so how did you and what were you thinking yeah. through this? And I would say, well, let me just hear like how you feel about it. And I hear men and they're just like, man, she's a part of my vision. And I just love her so much, man. Yeah. And, and, and you know, I listen, I don't mm -hmm. even know what to do. And I was just like, you need to go home, Jeff. If you love her, you tell know, her that. If you love her, like, let's run that play. And yes. then I meet other men. It's just like, well, man, you know, it was like this, 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 and this. And I was just like, well, how long has it been? And I can kind of, having so many men to come to me now, and you know who you are, I ain't going to put you on blast, praise Jesus. But I know now what it looks like when a man is truly in love. She is a part of his fabric. Mm -hmm. she, he, he like, it ain't putting on for the city. Sidebar, like, let me say this. I love men who go to men. Yeah. I love men who go to uh, their circle, their village to strengthen them, to yeah. give them wisdom on how to walk through yeah. and how to get through. And I believe, I definitely know that that was part of the way yeah. um, that we were able to heal. It was the circle, it was the people around us. Um, but here's what I believe. And, and here's where I struggle with, with, you know, the decision that people choose to make. Mm -hmm. If you have stood before God and you made these promises mm -hmm. and you made these commitments and you've been a God couple and God can, and you're telling everybody mm -hmm. and he can put the pieces of your life back together, uh, except this. Mm -hmm. I just have a problem with that. And, mm -hmm. and so many 
preachers and people who they are people of faith and you live your life trying to compel men to come to God because of what he is able to do. The miraculous, the impossible. There's nothing too hard for him uh, except for this. Mm -hmm. He can't redeem this. He can't fix this. So I just felt like I would be a hypocrite if I operated in that space. And I knew he loved me and I mm -hmm. knew that I loved him and I knew I, I recognized what I saw in him. Um, and because I'm, I'm a, I'm, I believe in being honest and being real. Mm -hmm. Um, he asked me if I could come home to spend some more time with him. And I was like, I'm on the road. We making money every single night, living life and live. Uh, we had had I got Krista. three flights Tuesday. He asked me to come home and I said, no, 